taken there for Geelong by Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick between wing and half forward. His kick will land at centre half forward. Barnes knocks it clear. Well done, Graham. Out for Riccardi. Riccardi gathers. His left foot snapshot is wide and very, very ugly. Just manages to scrape in for a behind. Peter Riccardi's first score gives Geelong the lead. 3-3 to 3-2. Kilpatrick playing well, Robbo. Yes, getting a lot of touches, isn't he? That surprised me with Riccardi. He normally kicks those. He's kicked 24 goals so far this season, especially those from about 45 out. Well done. As, as Smith has kicked it out, but it's punched back into play. O'Brien with the left boot. There's a Melbourne player on his own. That's Phoebe. Got plenty of time to move it onto Tingay. Be run down by Riccardi, but he gets his kick inside the 50. Sanderson running back with courage. Got to be paid a free kick Certainly at least. Paid that by umpire Goldsby. Courage alone, he deserved that. Good young player, Sanderson, for Geelong. Across that half-back line, kicks towards the pack. Lee Colbert, state representative this year for Geelong. Off to McKinnon, the ex-Crow, on his left boot, driving it long with the breeze. Misdirected, good punch by Barnes. He couldn't mark it, so he decided to punch it. Off to Darren Cowell, had a bit of a run-in with Robert Walls during the week. Riccardi now to Kilpatrick. He's had plenty of the ball, it skews off the inside of his boot to Graham, traditionally at full back, drives it long, he's a long kick, off to Barnes, takes a good mark. In between the point and the goal post, he'll be on a pretty tight angle, Johnny Barnes. Must have been close to being over for a behind. Looks inboard for Couch, does it cleverly. Oh, looking for a bit of a... A Paul Gascoigne out of the Euro 96, but it didn't come off. One behind to Paul Couch. Geelong's fourth, 3-4 to 3-2. Melbourne have kicked the goal thanks to Jeff Farmer. Gee, we put those soccer players on the map, don't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Gordon. <laughs> don't think he needs us, Robbo. Long kick out from defence from that kick out. Ingerson unable to take the mark. Buddha hocking around the pack as usual. Tough stuff, Buddha. Driving Clarkson into the mud. And there'll be another throw up. So football playing conditions have altered over the last few weeks in Melbourne. The players have had fairly firm conditions to play in, Johnny, and uh, with the rain coming down over the last few weeks, it certainly alters it, doesn't it? it certainly does. It makes it a different game. Another free kick found out of the ruck duel, Steins. That would be just about his fourth free kick so far in the game. It's 14 free kicks to Melbourne, seven to Geelong, and quite a few of those 14 for Melbourne have been found in the ruck contests. Steins' kick has been quite straightforwardly marked by Barry Stoneham. Stoneham is on the wing, so he'll put Geelong into attack with this kick. The Cats lead by two points. Won't see uh, a really big score kick today. It'll be uh, certainly the endeavour shown by both sides here that'll be counted. That's uh, Hopgood taking it over in front of Lee Tudor. And the boundary umpire will throw it in about 45 metres around from the Geelong goal. You certainly can't question the endeavour of either side so far, Robbo. They've both been great. So Geelong into attack. Down goes Clarkson, gets the handball to Glenn Lovett. Glenn Lovett's kick close to the line. And again, that boundary umpire over there is being worked over time. He'll have to throw it in. It's uh, just a, a little bit further away from the Geelong goal, about another 35 metres. So probably two kicks from the Cats goal. Gary Ablett still goalless, King from behind, McKinnon tackled there by Glenn Lovett and umpire Dennis Rich will throw it in the air once again. As the game goes on in this sort of mode, the players will get more and more tired. See more throw-ups, maybe a few more kicks off the ground like that one from Couch. Trying to get the ball moving, McKinnon in the pack. There's about 20 players around the ball, Clarkson off the ground, King bending his back for the big guy. Good effort from him. Again, another throw in. Centre wing, or in between half forward and centre wing, favouring Geelong. It's the Cats by two points. Just over 14 and a half minutes left in this first half as Couch gets it away from the pack with the left boot. Smith and Ablett. Ablett doing some juggling. Graham cleverly to Tudor. Tudor on that clever left boot. Puts it through for Geelong. Tudor's first. And Geelong's fourth, giving them a bit of a break now, 4-4 to 3-2. Couch again. Yeah, clever work. 
Good hands here by Graham. Straight to Tudor. Saw him. 